Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we are going to be discussing a recent Ninjago comic brought to us by a recent issue of the Ninjago magazine. This particular comic involves Zane and Pixel, and it's one that we've talked about before in previous videos, but finally I am able to read through the entire thing because I do not get these comics in my country, and I just need to say this comic is super depressing and a lot more heartbreaking than I expected it to be. So for today's video, I would just like to go through the entire comic with you guys, break it down, give my thoughts on the entire thing, finally, because I'm finally able to. And of course, keep in mind, like the case with a lot of other comics coming from Ninjago magazines, this could totally be canon to Ninjago Dragons Rising. At the same time, it could totally not be canon. But if this comic is canon, and just pulling up the comic right here so we can talk about it, it, this is only the first page. If the comic is canon, I think it has to take place in between season two, part one, and season two, part two, just because Aaron is here. And considering where Aaron was following season two, part two, this comic could not take place after that. It just would not make that much sense. Also, the ninja are in their climber suits here, which they did not get until season two, part one. So this obviously could not take place before season two. So timeline wise, in between part one and part two of season two. But this comic is called Zane's Pixel Project. And like I said, we have talked about this comic before, or at least the content of this comic, but we've never talked about the entire thing. So starting off here, we have Test Afternoon in the Monastery of Spin jitsu uh pixel is testing her mech and the grappling hook zane says our elemental master of technology it's definitely more than just talent similar to pixel she lived for technology yeah the main idea of this comic i would say is zane missing pixel oh pixel my sensors are constantly reporting her absence like an error message because she's missing this is probably how people feel when they experience longing. Zane goes down into Pixel's workshop. There's so much here that reminds me of her. That will calm my sensors and circuits. Zane, it's, it's very sad seeing Zane miss Pixel like this, but rumor has it Pixel will be back in season three, so surely that reunion will come very soon for you, buddy. What's going on here? I'm receiving far fewer Pixel signals than expected. I'm going to take a closer look. Of course, it's been tidied up here. And sure enough, he confirms it here. Mr. Frohickey, did you tidy up here? Yes, when Pixel returns one day, it's much nicer whenever everything is clean, I thought. That's a sweet gesture. Uh, yeah, but what about the Nindroid parts that were stored in this box? Took them to the junkyard. Oh boy, he took those to Creel's. How, how awesome. Uh, Creel and Labo, those two crooks? I do not like that. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, judging from his facial expression. Nindroid technology is very advanced and can lead to all sorts of disasters in the wrong hands. Yeah, we've seen that enough. Uh, I'm gonna get those parts back. And Zayn rushes to the junkyard here. These robots try to uh, intervene, but Zayn is not having any of that, doing the little spinjitsu thing that his car can do. And of course, he jumps out, spinjitsus himself, throws the door off, and throws away this robot. And uh, Labo and Creel, you know, find out what's going on here. Turns out they've already used the parts to create this, which I will refer to as Goth Pixel. <laughs> just because that's what it looks like to me. Uh, let's see. That's not possible. It looks like Pixel. I actually do enjoy this design quite a bit, and if this were to have been, you know, Pixel's new design for Season 3, I would not have minded that. I think this design works quite a bit. Again, it's it's goth Pixel. What's not to love? But of course, it's actually not Pixel. Creel says, whatever a Pixel's supposed to be, this is Creel. What does that stand for? It stands for Key Replica Ectomorph Embodying a Lady. Sure, whatever floats your boat there, Creel, or in this case, sinks it. Uh, you brought my pixel back, now if only, but of course that could work. If I process my memories of her from my memory bank with artificial intelligence, I could recreate her consciousness. So that's a pretty bold strategy there. Zane is so desperate to get pixel back that he's going to try to upload pixel's consciousness, or at least recreate it, into this new body. Of course, that's not going to go well, as I'm sure you might expect. The transfer has worked before, time to activate. And I suppose that is true, because remember, Pixel did put herself from Zane's head 
into a new body during season seven and that's how she became samurai x so theoretically this could work the pixel replica awakens opens her eyes here and immediately starts attacking labo it's pretty that's pretty much what i expected that is the face of regret right there <laughs> ladies and gentlemen uh let's see oh dear apparently the activation did not affect all system components only the basic programming so they brought this new pixel to life and it's not even pixel it's just some random robot now meanwhile the pixel robot is just literally tearing up everything please don't switch her off i need more input data and to connect myself directly to the console instead of using wi-fi probably <laughs> It's, it's the Wi-Fi's fault, of course. Uh, there's still an 11 point whatever percent chance that I can awaken Pixel's consciousness. See, okay, Zane has gone manic. You can, <laughs> you can see it in his eyes. He's just crazy. You know, I feel bad for the guy, but at the same time, he's letting his emotions get the best of him here. Um, my processor core beats only for you. What a lovely specimen here Goth Pixel is as she's grabbing parts and trying to build herself a bigger body. It's not looking good. The situation gets even more desperate here with the Pixel robot uh, just going crazy. Creel is desperately trying to get Zane to shut it off. Zane is like, nope, there's still a chance as the percentages get lower and lower. Zane tries to connect himself to the robot, gets thrown away, unfortunately, face planting into the ground. Labo doesn't think this will go well either. I don't think so, Labo. I do need to say though, uh, the facial expressions for Zane in this comic, top tier. You can just see the chaos in his face. Love that. Zane says, I know what you're thinking. There's still a 2.65% chance that those numbers are just rapidly dropping. Obviously, Labo and Creel decide to leave because I don't know what's going on in the background, but it is not looking good for anyone here. Shortly afterwards, it's good that you came to the monastery. I'll take care of Zane. Cole is coming in his car to pick up Zane. Of course, Cole is in his crystallized car. Again, not sure if that's still around five years after crystallized, give or take, but maybe it is. Uh, he's attached to his pixel like a man in love, and when he gets too involved, it's as if that love overrides some of his reasoning programs, and he loses his soundness of mind. That's very depressing. He just needs a good friend to reason with him. Let's see where things stand. Things are not standing very well here, as the pixel robot is just obliterating Zane. Pixel, please. That, that is awful. That is so sad. Oh my god. <laughs> Cole is like, oh dear. Yeah, oh dear indeed, my friend. It's, it's not going well here for Zane. It, it, it's gotten even worse. Zane again gets thrown away. Uh, hello, Zane. <laughs> Cole just waving at him. Uh, Cole, I can reawaken Pixel. There's a 0.0375% chance. And that, of course, leads to this uh, part of the comic, which, in my opinion, is the most devastating part of the comic for Zane and uh, the audience trying to read this. Cole says, that is not Pixel, and it never will be Zane. She had a unique personality, and no artificial intelligence in the world will ever be able to replace her no matter how good the chances are. As the thing continues to destroy the background here, if Pixel's stored consciousness still exists and just needs a new body, what are the chances that the two of you will get back together? 32.7. And isn't that more than the current 0.03 whatever? Zane pretty much explains that Cole is correct. Uh, you're right, Cole, thank you. It just came over me because I miss her so much. That's, that's, that destroys me. But I know that Zane, we all miss her as Cole hugs his friend here oh my gosh that is so cute basically they try to switch off the monster the juggernaut is too big for that now don't you think labo knows what to do let's get into the mechs and beat up the monster <laughs> it's just awful make sure you do it in front of zane too and labo and creel continue to battle this not pixel impersonator until they pretty much destroy her sending her face flying for zane to pick up again very similar to the ending of season three rebooted where they find half of zane's face very similar to that here parallels uh look on the bright side zane at least you stuck to your guns sure true to the motto ninja never give up ah uh, uh, yes the classic ninja never give up uh yes you are right i stopped believing that pixel would return now i know i will never give up believing that i will see pixel again as he picks up 
this remainder of the not pixel robot so yeah very unfortunate stuff there definitely not a happy comic when it comes to ninjago dragons rising but one that could totally be canon i could totally see these events happening again in between season two parts one and two and i imagine a lot of this will carry over into season three where we will more likely than not see pixel finally return and we will get that zane and pixel reunion that we all crave i can't wait for them to be together again especially if zane is feeling like this the entire time can you imagine how lonely zane must feel but overall that's pretty much the comic here again very devastating very heartfelt as well between cole and zane cole is such a good friend to zane i i, I love that so much um but yeah that's pretty much the comic <laughs> definitely not a fun read but an interesting read, I would say. So with that being said, guys, that'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here. Leave all of your thoughts down below in the comments regarding what you think about this comic. Do you think it's canon? Do you think it's not canon? Did you find it to be as shockingly sad or depressing as I did? And what do you think this means for the future of Ninjago Dragons Rising, if anything? Leave all your thoughts down below, and thank you so much for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed this one, feel free to like and subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I will talk to you guys again very, very soon. Peace.